Design can be a challenging area to get into, and as an educator, I know how hard it is to teach the tools needed. Yes, I'm looking at you, Illustrator. Whether you're looking to start a lifelong career in design or just a side hustle to make some extra cash, starting with a full-fledged tool like Illustrator or even Photoshop can be very overwhelming. And for this reason, I'm making a three-part series about Adobe Express here on the channel. Express is a web-based design tool that is beginner-friendly and quite easy to use for newcomers while still being powerful and versatile for professionals. Now, for this three-part series, I've partnered with Adobe, which means they're sponsoring these videos and paying me to talk about Express. However, and wait a second, if you're a returning viewer of my channel, you know that I've always been critical of Adobe's tools and products, and I've always pointed out things I didn't like. And if being sponsored meant the end of that, I wouldn't feel like myself. So when Adobe reached out to me, my only condition for this partnership was that this wouldn't change. I would still be able to point out where I think they could improve and overall just be honest and upfront about my opinions. Adobe not only responded positively to that, but they also put me in direct contact with the team responsible for consumer feedback on Adobe Express. So I will be working directly with them. This also means I can give voice to your feedback. So if you're having a bad experience with Express, if you're missing a feature or something just isn't working properly, tell me in the comments and I'll make sure your feedback gets to Adobe. Throughout these videos, I'll also point out the key features I think deserve attention or have room for improvement. Okay, so let's begin. Adobe Express is a web-based design tool that allows us to create all sorts of different things, from logos and flyers and social media posts, all the way to editing small videos and even recording voiceovers. It's free for everyone with the option to upgrade to a premium plan. And I'll discuss my thoughts on pricing at the end of the video, so stick around. It has a collection of thousands of templates with a standard of quality that actually surprised me. They're also reasonably easy to edit and you can even share your designs with coworkers and you both edit them at the same time. Express also has a lot of popular features from other Adobe apps, like image background removal, captioning videos, editing PDFs, and using generative AI, which I found was a really nice bonus. We can do a lot of things with a single tool without having multiple apps open at the same time. And since it's web-based, this is even more interesting because it offers the possibility to work on the go without the need to have a powerful computer. Of course, this is a tool that won't fit every scenario, but over these last weeks I've been using it, I consistently came across situations where Express could be integrated into my workflow with a positive impact. Through Express, we also have access to assets from Adobe Stock that include photos, vectors, videos, and music. If you're on a premium plan, this collection is expanded to almost 200 million assets. And if you're already subscribed to the Creative Cloud, Express Premium is already included, so no need to pay for anything else. Now, enough chit chat and let me take you on a tour through the app. After that, I can share my thoughts on who is this app for, what are the benefits of using it, and what I think about the price. Express is web-based, so no need to download anything. On the home screen, we get shortcuts to all sorts of different projects, from file sizes and templates to quick actions and AI tools. At the very top, we can narrow down our choices by choosing what type of project we want, like a social media post, a video project, or a marketing campaign. If we want to prioritize visuals, we can use the Explore tab, which allows us to browse templates by mood and style, and also filter only free or premium assets. I'll filter it by price and style and start a new project to take a look at the editor. I'm gonna select this football template right here, which is free, and I'll also try to use only free assets. This way I can already push the free plan to its limits and we can see how well it does. It's worth mentioning at this point that, even if you're on a free plan, designs you create can be sold, say, to a client for them to use on their social media. You also don't have to worry about watermarks of any kind. I would, however, read more about the licenses regarding Adobe Stock assets, just to stay informed and don't make any mistakes. I'll leave a link to the license info in the description. The Express Editor is quite simple to work with. We have all the layers listed on the right, and we can select stuff either by clicking on the corresponding layer or selecting the object on the artboard. 
Selecting any object will open a panel on the left side, which we can use to edit and customize the asset in all sorts of ways, be it editing an image, replacing a font, or changing the color of an icon. This makes customizing the template quite easy, as we can edit and replace assets fairly quickly. Say we like this template, but we want to use it for another sport, like soccer, which is far more popular where I live. Or real football, if you ask me. <clears throat> We can start by replacing the photo in the center, so we'll select it and click on Replace. Now I can either upload my own image, browse the Adobe Stock collection or use AI to create something brand new. Let's browse Adobe Stock for now and again, I'll use a free asset to keep it simple and accessible. Once we've selected the image, the size might not match the old one and we can quickly change that by clicking on Crop and adjusting the size of the image. But I don't think we actually need to crop this one, so I'll click on original to use the whole image. Then we can reposition the image on the composition by using the align option to make sure it is centered. The image we selected has a white background, but that's not a problem, since we can simply click on remove background and Express will do all the hard work for us. And it usually does a pretty good job, but if we want to refine something, we can click on erase and edit the selection. However, that is a premium feature. The green tone of the image isn't fitting quite right with this layout, so I'll go to Effects and turn it black and white. Now I'll replace a few other images that don't make sense following the same steps, like the balls on the sides for actual soccer balls. You can see it maintains the blur effect, which is very handy. I also didn't like the smoke on the corners that much, so I'll replace it with a different smoke, which actually covers the entire bottom of the layout, so I'll just delete the other one. Finally, I replaced the red background with this image of a soccer field with some big lights on the corners, which actually made this composition look really cool and I quite enjoyed the result. The lights were a little too bright, but I fixed that by going to the adjustments and turning down the contrast, highlights and brightness to make the image a little darker. When I mentioned earlier that Express had features from other Adobe apps, this is what I was referring to. The adjustments feel like a Photoshop sprinkle inside Express. It's not as powerful, but it's still versatile and most importantly, it's quick and simple to use. I like it. I also added the smallest amount of blur to create some depth of field. Working only with free images is definitely a bit challenging. You can see that most images are premium, but it's still doable and there's still high quality images available on the free plan. This is about what I would expect. A way to filter only free assets would be nice to have, however. Now let's have a look at editing text. And here is one of the feedbacks I sent Adobe. Images that have their background removed don't allow you to select objects that appear through the transparency. Clicking on the transparent area still selects the image itself, which doesn't happen in Photoshop or Illustrator and is a little bit frustrating, causing selections to be made most of the time through the layers panel. However, you cannot select multiple layers through the layers panel, so you're forced to find a workaround. You can lock layers, but locked layers can still be selected if you click them. If you draw a selection box, the problem is solved because the locked layer won't be selected. It's nothing major, but just something I think can be improved for a better user experience, since this slows down the workflow quite a bit, especially for a software that aims to be quick and easy to use, as the name itself suggests. Being able to select multiple objects through the layers would already help this issue quite a lot. Okay, let's edit some text. I quite like this idea of having two layers of text behind the player while the middle one is on the front. It adds some depth and makes the composition interesting, so I will keep that. But I do want to stylize this text a little bit. I'll select both layers behind the player so I can edit them both at the same time. Here is where the problem I just described happens. I'll add a black outline with a thickness of 10. Then I'll add a shadow effect select the custom option and make it a really hard black shadow that will function more like a 3D effect rather than a shadow. The text at the top, which says the team's name, is kinda hard to read right now because of the image I chose for the background. So I'll select it and decrease the letter spacing, moving the characters away from the lights. And since I'm already here, I would also like to experiment with a few different fonts. And Express makes it quite easy to test out different fonts with the recommendation system. 
Suggested fonts are displayed there and they actually show the original background the text is on, which makes it super easy to choose. We can click on view all to browse through all suggestions and even click on this wave icon to show similar fonts. I ended up selecting Beba's new Rounded, which had a more playful style, which I think suited this project very well. As for the text in the middle, I'll completely change that, because I think it's a little too repetitive and we can use that space for some info that is actually useful. I want to add the game date so people can get ready and add it to their schedules. And I'll use the made-up date of December 15. I also would like to change this font to something easier to read, so I'll match this to the Beba's font I just used. For the font style, I'll replace the white outline with just a white fill, play around with the letter spacing and font size until I'm happy with the results and adjust the spacing between the text layers so they are closer together. I'll also delete this yet another game day and this black line because they are feeling quite random on this layout. In the end, I made some final adjustments which I won't go over in super detail. I changed the color of the bar at the bottom to something more fitting with the rest of the design and moved objects around to make the composition more harmonious and interesting. This was, after all, just a quick overview of how Powerful Express can be and how we can easily customize a template to something unique and with character. And I think I managed to do that, placing both images side by side, both the template I started and the one I customized, I think it's fair to say I managed to make it a distinct design, quite different from the original template, while still keeping it high quality, with good fonts, great stock photos, a nice color harmony and just an overall nice composition. And while I do have experience with design and design softwares, this wasn't something that took a whole lot of knowledge to achieve. As for the limitations of the free plan, while it definitely makes the process more challenging, I think it's still a viable option. However, having a way to filter only free assets and fonts would be a really nice addition. It's also worth mentioning that once we're finished with our design, we can download it as a PNG, JPEG or PDF to send it over to our client. Okay, so who is Adobe Express for? Well, I actually think there's a little bit for everyone here. If you're a newcomer, this is a great way to get into design and build a solid foundation until you feel ready to tackle a more complex and robust tool like Illustrator. I think working with these templates, tweaking colors, images and fonts and understanding how all these elements come together in a great looking project can be an excellent way to start thinking like a designer. It's more about understanding design itself, which is far more important rather than just knowing how to operate a software, which doesn't make you a good designer. On the other hand, a good designer will be a good designer regardless of the tool. Are you following my thoughts here? I also believe Express can be a great Kickstarter to a freelance design career, allowing you to quickly offer high quality designs to perhaps local businesses around you. It's great because you don't have to start projects from scratch, which can be really daunting for a beginner to just start with a blank canvas. Honestly, that's daunting even for me sometimes. But at the same time, templates can be quickly customized and turned unique, as we've just seen a minute ago. So you won't be providing a service that is just average or mediocre. And when I say Express can help you get started, I'm not overlooking the importance of a formal design education, but it's possible that you may not have the financial means for that at the moment, or you might even be uncertain about pursuing design as your primary career. In any case, this is a tool that can help you gather some money to invest in your life, be it going to a design school or just helping you pay the bills. On the other hand, if you're a seasoned professional like myself, Express can be a time saver by streamlining the production of simpler designs like Facebook posts or Instagram stories, since it allows us to work on the go, but especially because it offers the Brands feature, which is essentially a brand kit you can set up inside Express and quickly access assets from your brands, like logos, fonts and colors, and turn any template into a branded design. We'll go into more detail about the Brands feature on the next video. And for those worried about looking the same as everyone else by using pre-made templates and assets, Express integration with Illustrator and Photoshop still allow us to bring our own custom design assets to the mix. This way, we're not restricted to the tools and features of Express, and instead of using it as a standalone tool, we can think of it as an extension of our workflow. 
It's worth noting that for experienced professionals, this is the place where Express has the biggest room for improvement. There are still some features that I would like to see being implemented in the near future that I think would take Express to the next level. Like, for example, seamlessly sending Express projects to Illustrator, without the need to have to download them as PDFs, import the PDF to Illustrator, and having to deal with all the problems that this workflow has, like missing fonts and a million groups and clipping masks. If you've imported PDFs to Illustrator before, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And of course, I'm saying this as someone who has little to no knowledge on software development, so I have no clue how hard this would be to implement, but it would still be a great feature to have. Okay, so my honest thoughts on pricing. Adobe Express Premium is currently priced at $9.99 per month, and yes, nobody is really a fan of subscription plans, and I'm with you on that. However, for the amount of features and assets available. I think this is, genuinely, a really fair price. Just the millions of assets from Adobe Stock alone already make this a great deal, especially when you consider that quality stock photography is usually very expensive. But it's not only that. Assets are also really high quality, templates are well crafted, and it's obvious they were made by a competent team of designers. They're also reasonably easy to edit and make unique. And to me, the addition of the standalone quick actions like the conversion tools, the background removal, the video captioning, just take Express to a level of its own. It's like you have a condensed creative cloud at your disposal with one-click actions to do a whole lot of things. And while I did say that Express for Professionals still has room for improvement, the fact that a premium plan is already included in your creative cloud subscription makes it an easy recommendation regardless. Express managed to successfully surprise me over the last few weeks. But in the end, this is still a sponsored video, so I understand how you might feel about this recommendation. So, I'm asking you not to take my word for it. You can sign up for a 30-day free trial of the premium plan and decide for yourself. There's an affiliate link in the description down below, which, if you use, I will get a small commission on it, even if you choose the free trial. So check it out and then come back here and give me and the rest of the viewers your honest feedback. Thank you once again to Adobe for sponsoring this video and being open to discussing and improving Adobe Express together with the community that uses it. In the next video in the series, we'll see some practical uses of Express, take a deep dive into the brand's feature and explore a few workflows that integrate Express with Illustrator. So I see you in part two. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.